solve by quadratic formula, if I have a x to the power of 2 plus b x plus c is equal to 0, x would be equal to, you need to know the formula, minus b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x would be equal to, in this case, your a. What is your a in this case? 2. What is your b? 4. Now, let's subtract 5 from both of the equation and write this in the standard form so you can see what c is. So if I subtract 5 from both of the equation, I will notice that my c must be equal to minus 5. So let's substitute the numbers in the formula. So we have minus 4 plus and minus square root of 4 square root of 16 minus 4 times a is 2 and c is minus 5. Okay, so those of you are following this, I want you to see if you can reduce this. So what do we have under the radical? Of x equal to minus 4 plus and minus at the bottom we get 4 here we have 16 minus what? or plus what? Plus, plus because we have a negative and negative would be positive 2 times 4 is equal to 10 10 times 4 is 40 very good so this would be x is equal to minus 4 plus and minus square root of what? 56, very good. Now we need to know if I can reduce 56. Okay, smallest prime number goes to 56 is 2 because it's even. What's half of 56? 38? 28. 28. What's half of 28? 14. What's half of 14? 7. And 7 is prime. So you see part of 56 is perfectly square, which is this part here. So 56 is equal to 4 times 2 times 7, which is 14, right? So square root of 56 would be square root of 4 times square root of 14. So this would be 2 square root of 14. This is how you reduce them. So this would be equal to minus 4 plus and minus 2 square root of 14 over 4. Can I reduce this? How can I reduce this? Divide by 2. You can divide each term by 2. Exactly. Fix 14 in the corner here. So if I factor a 2 out here at the top of the fraction, I get minus 2 plus and minus radical 14. Or you can divide each term by 2 between these three terms. And as you see, 2 and 4 would reduce this to 1 half. So I get minus 2 plus and minus square root of 14 over 2. So that should be the final answer.